Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're unlocking the secrets of one of the most critical yet often overlooked components of engine design, piston bowl shapes. Whether it's a diesel or petrol engine, the shape of the piston bowl plays a huge role in fuel efficiency, power output, and even emissions. But what do these different piston shapes actually do, and why are they so important? Stick around because we're breaking it all down. From flat top pistons to complex shapes like the Omega Bowl. Let's get started. First, why do piston bowl shapes matter? When your engine is running, fuel and air mix inside the cylinder, and they need to mix just right for the engine to run efficiently. The piston bowl shape creates specific patterns of swirl and tumble in the air fuel mixture. These movements help achieve complete combustion, leading to more power and better fuel efficiency. So, Think of the piston bowl as the architect of combustion inside your engine. Its design decides how well that fuel burns, how clean the process is, and how much power your engine delivers. All right, let's dive into the main players. Piston bowls come in various shapes, each designed to optimize engine performance in different ways. Let's break down the most common ones you'll come across. A flat top piston. Let's start with the simplest design, flat top pistons. As the name suggests, these pistons have a flat surface on top. They're most commonly found in petrol engines. Why flat? Well, petrol engines rely on pre-mixed air and fuel, so the piston's job here isn't to help with mixing, but to ensure smooth flame propagation. A flat-top piston allows the flame to spread quickly and evenly across the chamber, leading to clean combustion. Hemispherical bowl. Next up, the hemispherical bowl, or Hemi bowl. This dome-like shape creates a strong swirling motion of air inside diesel engines. That swirling effect is crucial for diesel engines, which inject fuel directly into the combustion chamber at high pressure. The swirl ensures that the air and fuel mix as evenly as possible, helping the engine burn more fuel with each stroke. Toroidal bowl. Moving on to the toroidal bowl, which has a deep, ring-like structure. This shape is more traditional and is designed to generate a strong swirl and tumble motion. It's highly efficient for older diesel engines where combustion processes were centered around maximizing fuel-air mixing to reduce soot and increase power output. However, the focus is more on traditional combustion pattern. The Omega Bowl. The Omega Bowl, shaped like the Greek letter Omega, is an advanced piston design that promotes highly effective swirl and tumble of the air-fuel mixture. This controlled turbulence ensures even fuel distribution throughout the combustion chamber, optimizing mixing even at lower temperatures. By spreading heat uniformly and preventing hot, hot spots, the Omega Bowl helps maintain lower peak combustion temperatures, which is crucial for low-temperature combustion LTC, engines. Since NOx emissions form at high temperatures, above 1,500 degrees Celsius, the Omega Bowl's design ensures combustion temperatures remain below this threshold, reducing NOx formation. Its geometry also supports stratified charge strategies like HCCI and PCCI, where leaner, cooler mixtures burn more slowly and uniformly. This prolonged combustion lowers both NOx and soot emissions, making the Omega Bowl ideal for modern, cleaner engines. Dome Piston Now, let's talk about the Dome Piston, which has a raised surface in the middle. Dome pistons are often used in high-performance petrol engines where higher compression ratios are needed. The dome shape reduces the combustion chamber volume, which raises the compression ratio and increases power. The higher the compression, the more energy the engine can extract from the fuel. A dish piston. Finally, we have the dish piston, which features a concave, bowl-like depression on top. Dish pistons are primarily used in gasoline engines that feature forced induction systems, such as engines with turbochargers or superchargers. These pistons are designed to lower the compression ratio, which is necessary in high-performance or turbocharged engines to prevent engine knocking, pre-ignition. The design of dish pistons doesn't specifically target swirl, tumble, or squish as much as the bowl shape designs found in diesel engines. In petrol engines, where air fuel is premixed, the focus is on managing flame propagation rather than generating turbulence in the air fuel mixture. So, why do diesel engines need more complex piston bowl shapes? In diesel engines, fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber at extremely high pressures. The challenge is that air and fuel aren't premixed like in petrol engines, so they need to be blended in real time as the engine runs. 
Piston bowls like the toroidal shapes create the turbulence needed to mix fuel and air quickly. That swirl and tumble we talked about earlier? It's absolutely essential for diesel engines to burn fuel properly, especially at high compression ratios. Petrol engines, on the other hand, have a bit of a different job. Because they rely on spark ignition and air fuel is premixed, they don't need as much help from piston bowls for mixing. Instead, they focus on controlling flame propagation. Flat top pistons are common in petrol engines because they allow the flame front to spread evenly, leading to complete combustion. So, where's piston bowl design headed? With the rise of low temperature combustion, LTC, and advanced engines, piston shapes are evolving to meet the demands of cleaner and more efficient combustion. Designs like the Omega Bowl are becoming more popular for their ability to mix air and fuel efficiently while reducing harmful emissions. In conclusion, the shape of a piston bowl might seem like a small detail, but it has a huge impact on how your engine performs. If you enjoyed this deep dive into piston bowl shapes, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content on engine technology. Let me know in the comments what topic you'd like to see next. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.